What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, today we're doing some maintenance on the M5. M5 is looking sweet over here. We're going to be doing some brake pads uh, because it is time. I don't think it's time to do the rotors yet. Um, and if it is coming close, then we'll probably do that at the end of summer or something like that if we really need to. So, which brake pads are we going with is I decided to go with the EBC brakes. We're doing the EBC yellow stuff. How do you know it's yellow stuff? Well, just look at it. They're literally yellow and pink, so can't miss it. The yellow stuff. If you look over here, the red stuff is um, the flagship one, the kind of fast tr street, uh, the fast street and the low dust. Um, not for race reuse. The yellow stuff is a bit higher friction um, and you can do it at racetracks. And of course, blue stuff and beyond are just fully race. This should be good enough for our back road cruising, the mountain windy roads and all that stuff. We do brake pretty hard often, but not like to the point of really overheating the brakes. So um, yeah, I have done brakes now on pretty much every, not pretty much, I've done brakes on every car I've owned, including the crashed M5 that I've owned for only two months, three months. Um, so um, should be pretty straightforward. I'm hoping, I don't want to jinx myself, but the first things first, we're going to go ahead and loosen the lug nuts lift up the car, take the wheel off, the normal stuff. Um, once, we're he once we're there, I'll explain kind of what the next steps are. We got the new brake sensors as well. Last time that was uh, causing us some issues because we reused them. So this time we're not reusing them. Now that we have the wheel off, the first thing we gotta do is take this little bolt out. So that we can pull this pull this out and essentially be able to release uh, release this and then insert to the brake pad. So the size for this is 13 mil and fits on like a glove. Okay, we got that. Not, not a very long screw. So now we're gonna do the same on the bottom. Here it is. Okay, so now that we took both of them, you can see how this kind of it wiggles. So we just need to kind of pull that straight out. It's gotta work. Slowly work that. All right, like so. And then we can observe what we have here. So we have, the first thing we're gonna have to do is disconnect out of these two cables you see, the top one, that's the wear sensor for the brake pads. I'm gonna work on getting the sensor unplugged and then we'll get the rest. This was held in just by a 10 millimeters, so now we should be able to pull it back enough to reveal this little box. And that box is where the wear, uh, wear sensor plugs into. So um, it, if you track it, it's really hard to mess it up. So I need both hands in order to do this, so. Oh, well this would be why I was complaining this whole time it's because it's not not attached <laughs> or maybe i just did that now by tugging on it i don't know but either way we can see where it broke <laughs> but all right not a lot of life in these left so fun times we compare them there's a big, big difference. <laughs> These were quite thin, I suppose. All right. And then, okay. oh, here we go. That one just comes off like so. This one was also 
very thin comparing that to something like this huge difference okay so now we have this tool uh, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and keep expanding okay I had I had completely forgotten what we had to do last time. We had to put the electronic parking brake in the service mode. So I think now we should be able to compress this, <laughs> compress it just fine. So I've compressed this almost all the way now. There we go, it doesn't go farther than this. Perfect. So I'll switch back to the GoPro. So now we should be able to just move it back into place like so. Yeah, just like so. And then we can plug this in as well once we have everything, everything well lined up. Uh, but this seems to be well, well lined up so no, no, no big issues here. All right, so just how we started, we're gonna do it again here, like the same way. All right, so after a closer consideration, I have decided not to replace the front brakes because we have lots of life left in them. Comparison to the rears, we had, like, this is barely a millimeter left, I think. <laughs> um, the new fronts are about 12, 13 millimeters, and these still seem to have a solid chunk of life in them. All of this from here to the rotor is all brake life, so I actually measured it, it was about seven millimeters. And checking on the internet, it says that you can get down to three millimeters. So I'm going to not replace the front brakes today. For now, we're just gonna set these and put our wheel back, move on with our day, start bedding in these rears. Yeah. Ah, I'm so happy I don't have to do this. All right, we just reset the service as well. The way to do that is you first have to press this three times and wait for everything to kind of settle and then it'll say diagnostic mode. Then you can hold this mileage button until their services pop up. Now that we've done that, the car will finally stop complaining <laughs> that we need the uh, rear brakes replaced, so. Good. That annoying red brake message is finally gone. Ah, uh, so good. So happy. And just like that, guys, we have completed the rear brakes. I hope you were able to fo uh, follow along. Um, everything is working as expected. According to EBC, we just need to drive normally uh, for about 100 miles or 100 to 300 miles. Um, they said that upon aggressive driving after the first 100, 150 miles, um, you, uh, we may see or notice some odor or we may notice some uh, them unevenly uh, behaving in a way. And it says that it's a normal thing. And that only means that at that point, they're successfully fully bedded in and going forward, they should perform uh, the best. So. We'll see how that goes. Um, I just drove around for about five miles probably. So we still have lots to go. So yeah, um, other than that, pretty stoked. Uh, I've done brakes several, several times now. So this seemed like a um, very familiar process. You only have to remember on these cars with an electronic parking brake, um, you can use Beamer Link uh, to put it put the parking brake in service mode and that will allow you to compress the pistons because if you don't do that they won't they won't budge and you might um, 
you might be like why is this not working so yeah that's that's why it's not working ask me how i know i know because it just happened to me um yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i hope i see you in the next video and until then drive safe peace don't forget like share and subscribe thanks peace